Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of Slime Tausche. And last episode we had our wedding crashers, but we got to deal with all that and everything just kind of worked out. You know, one thing I was kind of thinking about recently is that the title of the show is kind of not all that great. Like the whole killing slimes level up thing, like that just, it just describes like one aspect of the main character's character, kind of like how she got to the level that she's at. But uh, that's not even really the most important thing about her. Like, if I was to name this show, I would call it. I worked too hard in my previous life, but then I got isekai'd into a wonderful fantasy setting where I live a nice, chill life with my wonderful family comprised of cute girls. That's what I would call it. I think that's a better title. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or disagree. But yeah, I do quite like this show regardless of the title. So let's jump on in and see what we get. Three, two, one, play. I don't what what's the problem? Is something missing? Oh, that's actually really interesting. That's a good looking chart. Like I've seen chores charts and stuff, but that's a good looking one. Okay. I take can't read that. Oh, we set the bug free. Uh, I hope not. We barely stopped the last member from leaving. Are we like setting up for a surprise here? Like, are the lights about to come back? Yeah. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're really jumping to conclusions here, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, at least they're making her feel loved. That's that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, they just kind of... <laughs> so it's basically like the second false concern of somebody leaving we've gotten in the show so far. Oh, that one was pretty brief. <laughs> really could use subtitles for that segment because she speaks way too quickly there. At least for me. So waiting on our ghost girl and our wolf girl. That just pokes me in the forehead. Yeah, some of them don't even need to sit on the dragon, just kind of float above it. Everyone just seems so happy and cheerful in the opening. It's great. A ghost appear. Oh, we are getting our ghosts. Okay. Here we go. Uh. I guess she's just really working hard. <laughs> Always advertising. I probably don't want to overuse those. Can't be good for your health. <laughs> okay, we are getting into the ghost already. 
first a demon, now a ghost she has to deal with. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get that ghost to waifu status. It'll be, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're getting a scientific explanation on ghosts. That would make sense. <laughs> what do you think she doubles as a Ghostbuster? <laughs> yeah, I guess there's not really anyone else she can turn to. <laughs> Maybe you can put the ghost to work. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> A helper? Who do you have in mind? Okay, what are we summoning? <laughs> Those subs did not help me understand. Are we summoning Beelzebub or? Did, did it work? I heard a splash. Where did she end up? The bathtub? <laughs> what are the odds? But yeah, it was Beelzebub. <laughs> Well, I mean, it worked, you know, to give her her privacy. Oh, that was the issue. <laughs> well, there you go. But you're awake now, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, who better deal with ghosts than a demon, really? <laughs> Sound effect. Okay, yeah, this is again not playing fair. You know, you can't. She can't say no to them. Nobody could say no to them. <laughs> Knew we could count, could count on you. Might even be able to put her to work while while she's there. You mentioned that now. <laughs> Just giving her more reasons to want to kill you. Oh, yeah, that that's kind of it's kind of not the word I I thought of. Tacky was the first word that came to mind. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's how a ghost likes it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Had a feeling she wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> Wait, I was waiting for that. Because <laughs> I know she wouldn't say no to that. Okay, so we are all holding hands for safety. I feel like I played a game, video game like this once. They bring the spirit box. <laughs> They're such babies compared to her. <laughs> yeah, you gotta scare the ghost away. 
Yeah, ghosts don't bite. I don't be. She's probably more afraid of you than you are of her. <laughs> she kind of sounds like she's challenging a dojo. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> And she looked like an eggplant right there. <laughs> They're here to help, not hurt. Takes a lot of guts to, thre to threaten a ghost. I guess we found out where she's sitting. <laughs> uh, okay, we got her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks delicious. <laughs> now we get to interrogate the ghost, Rosalie. <laughs> this one depressing self introduction. <laughs> Well, then at least get put to work. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. I mean, you're pretty cute, yeah. But you still gotta leave. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard to believe part. Yeah, we gotta figure out something with you. Can't you can't can't just keep scaring people away. <laughs> okay, let's let's have that as plan C. Uh, yeah, but I kind of want her to stick around as a waifu character. So, please don't evaporate her. <laughs> You just need to not scare people away. Didn't uh, Yuda, you know, Yuna san have like a similar ghost concept? Where she was bound somewhere? Like the same sort of kind of ghost? Of course they have. Okay. Who does she possess then? Uh, <laughs> I yeah, somebody comes to mind. We might all be on the same page here. <laughs> now we know why her purpose is in the show. <laughs> there is no other no other choice really. <laughs> Yeah, she brought you here to get rid of the ghost, not to invite her into her. <laughs> well, she went inside her. How do you feel? <laughs> okay. Poor, poor Hal Halkara, whatever her name is. I was waiting for it. Knew that was coming. First thing I would do. <laughs> it's a nice house. Lots of room. Your cute girls are more than welcome.
<laughs> sure. You know, just like her, I mean, like pretty much every girl that she gets involved with has a life, has a long life span, span in some capacity. Like, it's been around for a long time and probably will be along for, around for a lot longer. I don't know, I can't believe it just clicked in my head. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> are you stuck? Are you stuck in there? <laughs> do we need to get the oil? <laughs> There's worse fates than being stuck inside a cute elf. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, please don't kill her. So we got to figure out something. <laughs> okay, let's not be hasty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Really doesn't help anything. Maybe we could scare her out. <laughs> Let's shake her. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on to a great start here. <laughs> Oh no, let's not break the box. That's definitely last resort. Yeah, that was my suggestion. <laughs> I feel like we might be on top of a building or something. Or, or just flying. I don't, think that, I don't think that would subtle her too much. <laughs> yeah, when you're scared, you don't use cling, cling on to things harder, so... Maybe that wasn't the best idea. We're gonna drop her. <laughs> Hopefully somebody catches her. <laughs> and this is not a pleasant day for her. I was trying to regret leaving her home. Or her haunted territory, rather. Yeah, I think she's still in there. <laughs> yeah, some stuff may have, may have come out there. I don't know how much more she can take. <laughs> you know, we could try kissing her. That might work. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Man, I don't know how much more she could take. She's... I don't know if there's... Not, she may have lost her sanity at this point. I mean, we tried everything else, why not? <laughs> that face just... Sure it's not chocolate milk? <laughs> Good as time as any. <laughs> she could probably use a drink after, after today. 
down. Yeah, you need to be caught up on events. You might. You might not. <laughs> okay. I like it so far. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh wow, it actually actually works. Okay. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. And look how easy it was. <laughs> I guess that was as applied by her standards. <laughs> the foreshadowing. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's not going to go well? Okay, I mean, I guess it went fine. What, but happened to have cute ghost girls serving customers? Or just entertaining them? <laughs> See, I'm not scary, I'm cute. <laughs> exactly, my man. People are starting to understand. Truly, really is still calling her that. <laughs> She's just like the town slave now. They could so see up that skirt. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, she seems pretty happy, so it's all good. That was not the end of the episode. What? What the hell? That, that was not 20 minutes. I, no, I refuse to believe. I was still expecting another half of the episode. Uh, I guess we're not getting Wolf Girl this time. Maybe next time. Why my windows go screw? <laughs> you know, I really wasn't sure what the ghost girl personality would be like. I definitely was not expecting what we got. That's for sure. Kind of like a rough speaking girl. But I don't hate it. Okay, that, that was the fifth episode of Slime Tausche, and this episode was our Ghost Girl episode. Rosalie was her name, and yeah, she apparently was, was causing trouble. You know, whenever there's like a new girl that's about to enter the show, one of the things I always wonder is like, what context will they appear with, right? In the case of the other, the Blue Dragon Girl, it was the fact that they were 
you know, crash in a wedding. They have some kind of rivalry with the red dragons and all that. This time, the, the ghost girl, she she came into the story because she was haunting a factory that uh, Hulk caught up, right? I struggle with her. I struggle with her name so much. Hulk caught up, her, her factory or whatever was getting haunted, so... She was kind of, uh, she needed to deal with that, right? Because it was a bit of an issue. And of course, she goes to her master to, to solve the problem. Because that's what she's pretty good at doing, solving problems. So, although she kind of needed to get in some extra help, right? I do love how many opportunities we have to get Beelzebub into the show. Because she doesn't, she doesn't like live in the house, right? I don't think so. But they still manage to get her involved a lot. Like she was found at the hot spring thing last time and stuff like that. And this time she was like the perfect position for the job because ghosts... They're, they're, they're scary, right? And who would not be too scared of ghosts? A demon, right? Mazaku, like, yeah, they research them and stuff, apparently. <laughs> like, she just casually strolling to that place like it's no big deal. While you have uh, Azusa and Halakura just kind of like holding hands and shaking and panicking and being all afraid. <laughs> it was just so fun. It was a really funny dynamic. Just really came across like Beelzebub was babysitting a couple of, a couple of children, right? Like, that's really what it felt like. Like, she was just having to deal with them while at the same time trying to deal with the actual issue that they came there to solve. So that, that was pretty funny, right? And she just, her also her way of dealing with the, the ghost, just like threatening her essentially to get her to reveal herself and then just get into a chokehold and then having to reveal herself. That was, it was great. I do quite like Beelzebub's way of uh, handling stuff. Also, her being summoned initially was funny because she fell in the cold water because apparently of a, apparently because of, of a slight mispronunciation. <laughs> that was also pretty funny. So... And then we got a little bit of her backstory. Nothing too complicated. Just, uh, she's a ghost. She died. She haunts the place. There was some, some depressing aspects of her backstory. But in the end, she was glad she died, as she said near the end of the episode. So everything kind of works out in the end, right? I mean, a big source of comedy in the episode was just trying to get, get the, get the ghost out of Polkara's body, right? Like, because we had a brilliant idea of getting her in there so we could move her, and then we had to get her out. That was a hard part. Getting it in is easy, getting it out is hard. That's kind of how it always goes. But after many hilarious times later, we did get her out after utilizing the cold water, which was kind of foreshadowed before. So, and then we just a matter of dealing with the, the scary rumors. But once we showed everyone that she was a wonderful, cute ghost, it, it all just kind of worked out, right? And then the episode suddenly ended, which was which was quite sad, but... Great episode, a great new cast member for sure. Glad that she's now part of the show, and I look forward to, learn, to meeting new to, to new new ones. So, until then, bye bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people. Want